Hello everyone and everywhere, whoever was or will be, I am Red Runner, and today I am joined by more people than normal. Jack, Phantom, uh, hi everyone, and Trashy, even though you can't tell. <laughs> Hello! Hello, I am the Wojack right now. I am coping <laughs> so hard. <laughs> and I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> We're watching Magneto versus Tetsuo today, not Magneto versus Accelerator. Yes. Oh my yes. god, I like this matchup. But yes, god, he, brought, he, brought, he brought two of the, for reference, Red has brought two of the biggest Magneto Accelerator news just for the occasion. And yeah, <laughs> someone here to balance it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be me. <laughs> yep, yep. Either way, uh, this one... I don't know if it's technically quite as bad. I don't think it is, but it's still... It's a top-tier X-Men versus not. <laughs> so, let's, so, let, so, let me, so let me set this straight for you. Magneto is, like, one of the main villains of the X-Men and has existed for decades. And, ha and you're gonna get some Herald yeah. stuff with that. Tetsuo... Does not have that. <laughs> At most, so I, I reread the, the colored manga with Cyber. We said, like, Universal Tetsu in the manga is possible because they literally can, because the series states to, like, have a big, create a big bang. The thing is that it would be, like, one universe and how much universe do they give Thor, who Magneto fought before? Uh, 9,000 minimum? <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Magneto would, at worst, Magneto is going to be 10,000 times stronger. And then. Well, that, That's that even would just be interesting if they at least went into the unis, because I kind of, since it's an X-Men character, technically they haven't gone that high with them yet. I could almost, have, like, like, like pri it. prior to you saying what that. Is, what is, what is, isn't one of, one of the main X-Men is Jean fucking Gray. They have Wait, gone that far. What, what I think is going to happen, what I think is going to happen is that they're going to use the moon hole that Tetsuo made versus the bullet that Magneto moved. Yeah, and it's, it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be playing a bullet versus moon hole. I yeah, think and the I, universe I think stuff is pretty much gonna be stuck to the black boxes. If they can avoid yeah. it, they're probably not gonna just outright explain it. Like the reason I mm -hmm. meant the reason I mentioned X Men is because I think they have no way they have no way around scaling Magneto to and past where they put Storm since that was so recent. That's kind they, of why I say it. Didn't they put her? Didn't they put her like planet in light speed? <laughs> I thought they it's had her bad. at like sun. It doesn't. They really put no, that much. no. The sun thing will be like multicon. They put her at small planet and uh and uh, lights and it's, massive hypersonic light speed. It's so confusing to me how lighting up a star can be any less than star. But okay, it's because you're not it's, you're not destroying a star. You're lighting it up and lighting but what and is the sun. That? The sun. You're still with those non-versivators. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but I yeah, it's like, like Magneto's gonna win. Magneto's gonna win. So let's just see how this final goes. Magneto's gonna win. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, and then I, next I, time, I better I, fucking hope is not Boba Fett versus Predator because I want that for the finale. Because my boy getting the mid-season finale would be so good. Ooh, that would. Be, I just don't really know cool. how fitting it would be. It really depends where they go with it. It yeah. Um, At this point, we can just wait and see. We're not even mm -hmm. confident that he's fighting Predator, technically. But anyway. Oh boy, I can't I can't wait for I can't wait for him to play live action Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I get I get it. Alright. Right. Right. Well, well, it's not up to us. It's up to these guys, and we might get it right, we might get it wrong. I don't We're know. We're not gonna get it fucking wrong. <laughs> I mean, who, I don't know, bro. Is he Listen, really this one has off? more debatability than the other ones I've made that joke with. Either way, let's start our show. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see this. Let's go. All my right, most, let's go. My, my favorite comic book character is finally in. Magneto, Marvel's mutant master of magnetism. Tetsuo Shima, Akira's telekinetic terror of Neo Tokyo. All right, I forgot to ask. Do you think he is gonna say the line in the death battle, Magneto? What? What? Welcome to die or what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, welcome to die. Tetsuo should Tetsuo should say welcome to die. All right, let's go. In the short duration of modern civilization. Likely no conflict tested humanity more than the Second World War. In the oh wow, Marvel bold. Universe, <laughs> Showing the swastikas. No 
especially to the Eisenhart family and their only son. You may know him as Magnus, Eric, or Max, but if you ask him, he'd say his true name is Magneto. As a Jewish child in Nazi Germany, Magneto's early There's like life discrimination was Nazis and one guy. No, 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 no. no. I had to include it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Misfortune always followed wherever he went. Thanks to his unexpected mutation called the X gene, the mark of a superhuman. Max Eisenhart, Eric Lyncher, Magnus, yeah. <laughs> he never stuck to one name. Yeah. He still prefers Magneto. Naturally, he snapped and killed them all. I don't blame him. I'd do that too. Too bad his wife didn't get it and ditched him though. <laughs> Magneto made a choice. Since humans hurt Man, his life sucked. <laughs> his life sucks. Kinda don't blame him for this. Telepathic powerhouse Charles Xavier and his fledgling team of heroes. But his new friend wasn't thrilled with the idea of uh subjugating the human race. So he formed his <laughs> yeah. own team of mutants, the Brotherhood. Magneto can telekinetically move Mutants. and reshape oh, uh, oh, the yeah. astral projection of wormhole vehicles, creation. Buildings, you name it. Even uh, yeah, himself yeah. when he manipulates his personal magnetic field for flight and energy. Yeah, they didn't barriers. call it by its full name, but he just calls himself evil, and I find that funny. The blood in your body has mm -hmm. iron in it. The air has traces of lead and mercury. Whole mountains are lined with metallic ore. The earth itself is surrounded by a literal magnetic field. So many toys for Maggie to play with. He can detect <laughs> magnetic fields at such a huge range. He can even pinpoint Earth's magnetic rays while oh, that Magneto face. In another galaxy. And guess what? He, he, was able to he has a lot of good faces from what I understand. Back to Earth in a Comic day. books. His range Comics, is even more yeah. remarkable than right. that. Did you know that in 1820, physicist Hans Christian Orsted discovered that electric currents, like those of electrons and protons and atoms, produce their own magnetic fields? Magneto can fine-tune his control to affect these very subatomic particles. Why? Okay, that AI <laughs> of scaling hey, really fucked up, just saying. Oh, wow, he's he's finally back. <laughs> ultrasonic, ultrasonic. So what you're saying, Technically, he had a cameo earlier like, this season, but yeah. One of those out. Correct. Potentially changing an atom's entire chemical makeup. However, neutrons do not have a charge, and without the ability to adjust those to oh, accommodate no. the change in atomic mass, that thing is going to explode. Stable and oh. <laughs> he I'm got out. what he wanted. <laughs> Many violent protests against humankind clashed with Xavier's peaceful reconciliation. Not unlike the ideologies taught by Malcolm X and Dr. King, by whom Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were inspired. Magneto would spend most of his time Xavier now. away to prove his philosophy superior, which meant doing battle with Xavier's school of thought, quite literally. And Baldi's mind powers are no joke, but thanks to Magneto's psionic repelling helmet, Professor X couldn't touch him. Magneto survived Cyclops' earth-splitting lasers, absorbed the power of the sun to battle Iron Man. I didn't have time to finish reading that black box, but it sounded like some psionics have gotten past the helmet or something. You know, the Greek uh, zero to hero. I think so, yeah. But like, I don't have to see if mental resistance is underneath it, too. Okay. They gave him Magneto universal already. Magnetic field to nice. Awesome. Phoenix Force, which oh, God. Destroy oh, no. <laughs> far more. Hell, if he really wanted to, Magneto could totally just fling the Earth off its axis. It's entirely possible he may have eventually resorted to just that. Over time, it became clear Magneto's war was doing far more harm than good for his fellow mutants, however well-intentioned he may have been at first. Luckily, he later hmm. realized he was going a bit overboard and began reevaluating his perspective. Good for you, Mags. It's really tough to recognize when you're the baddie. It took time and patience, not just from Magneto, but also from his peers. Yet eventually, his path was completely changed. He All right. even became a leader for Xavier's X-Men. But don't let his oh. new goody two-shoes ways fool you. Whenever there's a threat to mutants, you can bet. But for some reason, it's comics, so I don't trust that that'll forever, stay the case. By any means no, he's he's been a good guy for like years now, I believe. Right. He's been a good... He's been redeemed for over a decade. Ago, like, there are some times where he goes back, but it's for good reasons and he just goes back to being dead. I'm glad they mentioned it. That was a good, that was a good analysis, by the way. I like yeah, it. Yeah, no. No, good job, Tiki. 
<laughs> now let's see Tetsuo, because I think Tetsuo, he said Tetsuo is one of his favorite anime oh, characters. Wait, not really. If you find yourself in the capsule gang, you'll meet Shotaro Kanada, who's like your textbook anime Man, shed. Kanada was easily my favorite part of Akira when actually watching the film. Kanada's <laughs> like, I like Tetsuo the most. Yeah, he's awesome, bro. Kanada's best friend, Tetsuo Shima. He's... Well, the exact opposite. A I also like how he's the definition of what the fuck is a scalish. Being the new kid at the orphanage. That's until Big Bro Canada came to the rescue. Ex-clown, dictator of the illustrious Great Tokyo Empire. He's 19? Yeah. Satisfied with Canada. Crazy. Leader of the pack. My fuck up. People kept making the minor joke. I can just see that when it's not technically true. Or that kid walking down. Yeah, he looks he does not look <laughs> he looks like he looks like a few definitely should have killed him. Yeah. But since it didn't, Tetsuo earned himself a ticket to military confinement. Turns out they had an under the table program for developing child super weapons. Huh. The same program that backfired and jump started the war, Tetsuo became Japan's Esper number 41. <laughs> He may not have been a natural with bikes, baddies, or babes, but this telekinesis stuff hit different. <laughs> he walked out of that hospital ward effortlessly flying, reading oh, minds, and blasting people feel. into strawberry jelly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he wanted. Power, along with the hunger for more of it. A hunger that used to only be satiated with drugs. And not just any gateway drug. Pills so potent that a single gram of the stuff could kill you. So, pretty bad. Kinda reminds me of college <laughs> days, huh, Snow Wizard? <clears throat> Tetsuo's main ability is his constantly increasing psionic energy, growing more and more powerful over time. This is due to Tetsuo's link to, quote, the memories of the universe, end quote. It's weird. Either huh. way, Tetsuo leveled up from lame gangbuster oh, to the, certified the cape. badass. This guy I like is how... a natural disaster. His I like how the moment he got his car, he decided, I need a cool cape. Over a dozen miles mm -hmm. I mean, of course. I mean, you always I mean, need a cool yeah. cape. <laughs> it's for the aesthetic fans, if you would get it. Or even teleport in an instant. Tetsuo's telekinesis can be so precise, he can target and obliterate specific parts of the body. Yeah, I like the AI upscaling for the comic images, unless it messes with the quality of the text. Ego collapse, powers, Top Dog Canada didn't matter anymore. Who needed his approval? Tetsuo tasted that good shit and he was hooked. And when he found out another esper named Akira could deal him even more power, he rampaged through Tokyo to find him. And this is where versions of the story differ. <laughs> All right, then. Here we go. You may be familiar with the 1988 animation, where Akira had been dissected for research. However, in the original manga, Akira is not only alive, but even more powerful. Once that little runt nuked Tokyo, <laughs> Tetsuo would erect the Great Tokyo Empire with Akira and himself as its leaders. But he ended up just abusing the position for endless sex and inflating his ego. With Kanada's huh. rebellion at his front door, Tetsuo took a turn for the worse. He had to fight. Tetsuo's defeated other powerful espers, dodged light speed lasers, and jumped to the moon faster than anyone could blink, and then punched a big old hole in it. And if you ask, Boomstick, wouldn't that mess up gravity on Earth? You would be right because it totally did. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> actually having realistic moons. Tetsuo's folly. His abuse of his powers spiraled until he lost control. Unfortunately for Kanada's rebellion, this did not make Tetsuo an easier enemy to confront. Exactly opposite, in fact, has Tetsuo <laughs> painfully mutated into an unstoppable behemoth. Yep, that's not totally disturbing at all. I'm happy to say the manga's version is even more disturbing. I mean, I know people oh, are yeah. monsters, but that's a whole nother level. <laughs> it is pain incarnate. I can relate. Another Esper described Tetsuo's struggle as ego death. Where did Wiz go? <laughs> yeah, he's just not here. <laughs> of the version attributed to drug use. Yeah, it's described as a shedding of one's own identity. Like how LSD can emulate a wild out-of-body experience and you come back with a new perspective. No, we're talking this about drugs now. A little more extreme. In fact, you could say Tetsuo Me, yeah. was shedding his human body to play with the powers of a god. I wish I could shed out of my body. But in this case, Tetsuo going full out of body meant becoming a mound of raw, ever expanding energy. Which almost nuked Tokyo all over again. And those explosions are not normal. I would know. Top scientists <laughs> in both the manga and animated versions describe these explosions as births of a new universe. 
Given its properties of nuclear fusion and proton collapse, Tetsuo's mutated form was likely creating a big bang. You know, the thing that started our whole universe. Oh, so we're going there. We're going wow. there. Instead, ended the espers and their abilities once and for all. <clears throat> A testament that humankind is unsuited to wield the powers of the divine. Though the anime is even more trippy, thanks to Akira and his buddies, Tetsuo got so high on ego death, he ascended time space to become god of a new universe. Kind of, kind of <laughs> worth it, right? And yet, Tetsuo obtaining omniscience is not can do the original. Oh, uh, cannot be a play. Oh, the great Akira Empire. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Death, Bye, Tetsuo. Tetsuo. Finally received the attention <laughs> he so desperately craved. Oh. Now let's see him die, yeah? Yeah. Time to die. Welcome to die, Tetsuo. <laughs> Real talk, I've watched this like once every day at least since this came out. I can't wait to see Mechning does his purple diaper again. <laughs> I like how he doesn't taunt on people in the game of tips. <laughs> it's like, no, that's fair. I get that. You're wasting my time. Alright. New stuff. Now nah, we saw this already. Hold on. Well, well, we're getting the new stuff, is what I meant. Now we are. Alright. And on that new arm, Tetsuo. Please tell me he's making a metal arm. That'd be funny. Oh, Looks that's like funny. that's exactly what's happening. Oh, there goes the building. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh god! Woo! Okay! Banger! Whoa. What did oh, they even wow. just do? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Holy god! Shit. <laughs> Man, brother, brother, brother. Oh god, those red eyes. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> yes! And yes! here's oh all the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my god. Listen, oh my god. <laughs> what is that thing? Mercy kill? <laughs> Yo, are we getting the mercy kill? Also, I couldn't quite hear it, but I think he might have said the Yo! Thing. Oh my god, this is so great! Yaku okay. Uh, what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Wait. I'm actually kind of lost he now. He contained it. Fuck. He contained it. <laughs> oh, wow. oh wait, he contained it. Wait, what? The, what? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh man. Oh. Yo. Oh my God. <sighs> you are welcome. <laughs> well. Yes! Wow! Crazy! <laughs> Thank you for that boomstick. I'm never doing that again. Tetsuo Magneto! Has telekinesis and other Tetsuo. bizarre abilities certainly could kill Magneto without a shield. Telekinesis has a broader range of effect. 
The numbers stronger tough for faster cratering the moon was insane but magneto punched iron man with the force of the sun and while tetsuo jumped all the way to the moon magneto could move across galaxies against tetsuo in his human form magneto obviously held a sizable advantage in power and speed but stats are mm. all that matters with his precise telekinesis tetsuo could just target magneto's organs gg right yes but magneto had similar skills there are very few substances on Earth that lack any metallic or magnetic component. And Magneto yeah. is very creative with his powers. Which he could use to predict <laughs> Tetsuo's teleportation and even shut down his telekinesis. And his scraps with Xavier prove he could handle Tetsuo's messing with his head. Uh, the biggest challenge for Magneto was when Tetsuo's gross mutated power okay. came into play. Especially given how the detonations from this form were compared I'm saying to that he couldn't even bang. try to read his mind. Although the authenticity of that observation is questionable. In truth, the Big Bang was a sudden expansion of matter on a universal scale, whereas Tetsuo's explosions are more akin to nuclear blasts, clearly intentional given the post-war symbolism of the Akira story. The whole creating an alternate universe bit wasn't even part of the original material, so we can't exactly call it canon. But let's just say the comparison wasn't superfluous. Let's say Tetsuo did in fact cause a Big Bang capable of creating or destroying an entire universe, alternate or otherwise. <laughs> Turns out Magneto had the tools to stop that too. Helmet Head could overpower Hercules, who was strong enough to hold up the skies of Olympus, which is literally heaven and an alternate universe. This nice. doesn't necessarily mean Magneto could easily destroy a universe with the snap of his fingers, but it does prove he can match a similar level huh. of power. And context nice. is everything. Tetsuo's Big Bang eruption specifically exhibited proton collapse, meaning its atomic structure was primarily an unstable mess of neutrons and electrons. And Magneto has detected and commanded unstable electrons before. This means Magneto had every means available to take control over this Big Bang. Damn, and I he <laughs> exactly could what happened. Metal around. It's like the question posed by the greatest prophets of our time. That whole Fucking universe mad. was in a hot, dense How state. Exactly. <laughs> 14 million years ago. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Plus, I don't know most of the lyrics anyway. <laughs> Same. The winner is Magneto. Well, best episode this season. Best episode this season. Yeah, I don't know if I would necessarily like agree, but it was pretty good. This is my bias speaking. <laughs> I, I definitely, I definitely agree. Yeah. All right. Surprise me, death battle. So who's next? Uh. Wait. What? What the? What am I looking at? <laughs> what? Excuse what? me. Wait. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you what? what? <laughs> you fucking what? <laughs> what? You're. I just think what? They're doing a mythology battle. Oh hey, my. you guess what? <laughs> <laughs> no fresh. And it's no. not even Maui. <laughs> It's not even Maui. Oh, bro. God, they're doing a mythology battle? Oh, man. I so have pretty... so many questions. I'm pretty sure Hercules is fucking dying. <laughs> I mean, how good is Sun Wukong? I don't know. Um, um, I think this is maybe what the, the things Sun they meant Wukong. when they said they were going out there in terms of franchises. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Sun Wukong, I believe, gets like crazy high shit. I don't know. I don't do mythology. I mean, oh I don't. I don't God. even. Okay, I call it mythology. For for Sun Wukong in particular, I don't even know if he counts. Unfortunately, I had to. I I had to do. But I'll just say, yeah, I I screamed a fucking lot the next like it's based as fuck. Yes, to, yes. Yeah, it's my favorite this season. It's my favorite this season. So, and I'm happy. You and me both, man. You and me both. Yes. Um, so man, I'm that was that kill. That kill. Like, I'm gonna be honest. That kill. Like the the entire fight could have been garbage. That kill alone makes it my favorite. I won't even lie. <laughs> Actually, I think I have some time to stay here, but yeah, a uh, goaded episode. I'm really happy with it. Really great, yeah. And honestly, yes. really great. Honestly, I think it's a really great product. Like at least the first time viewing. Like, I'll hmm. definitely review the fight again, but like I really liked what was shown. Would have liked yeah. a little more ability usage, but for Magneto. But yeah, they're not good. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Anyway, <laughs> I am so curious what the next time is gonna be like i don't know and <laughs> yeah, anyway, what i was what i was saying i don't know if sun wukong even technically counts as mythology uh, journey to the west but still journey to the west yeah 
Anyways, I'm glad that happened because I just finished Monkey King, bro. That shit is awesome. Go check it out if you haven't. Dude, <laughs> Dude this well, is I guess just I know what I'm doing so next out of left field. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Which yeah, does no, which does awesome. mean Boba Fett? Which does mean Boba Fett is probably um, the mid season finale. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if we got this, bro, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Boba, Boba Fett better, this finale, baby. This better not be the only out of left field match they do this season. I mean, we'll see. We have the second half to look forward to. Which I hope they don't tease most of it, but that's beside the point. Oh, they're going to. They're going. God damn to. it! <laughs> you know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. Let me hope. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, no, I can stop the stream at least. But, yeah, I, it's, I, I'm just surprised. I, I don't have anything else to say. Um, yeah, Mania vs. Tattoo, the, I really video. liked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. Uh, oh, man, everything it, just, everything when he had so all went mutated, it's just god tier to me. This is everything yeah, I really, wanted from really my really second great, most yeah. wanted matchup, and I am so happy. Yeah. I'm really happy, I'm happy with the overall product, yeah. Really great job. Really, props to the team all around for that episode. Absolutely. But, how, how does... Listen, I can just wait and see people talk about it on the server, but it's like, how do you even scale Hercules and... I don't know. It's weird to me. Very carefully. <laughs> how do you even scale him? Hard work and determination. That's not what I mean. <laughs> I mean more akin to... I mean more along the lines of what does he scale to, but yeah. We're having a death battle with mythological figures. I think we should probably throw that kind of logic out the window at this point. Maybe? Yep. <laughs> Either way. Uh, yeah, do we have any last things to say, or...? Uh, it, yeah, it's uh, a fucking good episode. I don't know what else to say. Just go, go good, I mean, good. I mean, good. I mean, good episode. I Next got time every... is a series of massive what the fuck, and I am all for that. <laughs> I got everything I wanted from this episode and more. Thank you, Death Battle, so much. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. Goku, if... can, Goku can finally get a win on Death Battle, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Goku, my boy, will win, yo. <laughs> Goku can okay. finally win! <laughs> okay, you can use the sweet memes now. Alright. All right. If you guys like this video, you can like it. If you didn't dislike, but either way, I'll see all of you in the next video. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> it genuinely does. I don't think so. Yeah, okay, the ones that I've made that joke with are like Homelander versus Omni-Man. Uh, what else? What else? <laughs> it's better than Korra versus Storm, which is another one I made that joke with. <laughs>